Economics, Standard 12, Unit 8, International Economic Organizations Continued. We learned the establishment of the World Bank and its objectives and procedure of lending loan in, pre in the previous class. Let us learn today functions and achievements of World Bank. The World Bank performs the major role of providing loans for development works to member countries, especially to underdeveloped countries. The World Bank provides long-term loans for various development projects. Article 1 of the agreement states the functions performed by the World Bank. They are first investment for protective purposes. Investment for protective purposes. According to this, uh, you know, the World Bank assists in the reconstruction and development of territories of member nations uh, through facility of investment for protective purposes. It also encourages the development of protective facilities and resources in less developed countries. Secondly, balance growth of international trade. Balance growth of international trade international trade in this way also the world bank plays an important role you see it is just to promote the long range uh, what we call it as uh, balanced growth of trade long range balance of growth of trade at international level and the maintaining equilibrium in balance of payments of member nations by encouraging international investment. Thirdly, provision of loans and guarantees. Provision of loans and guarantees. It provides loans. So, provision of loans and guarantees. Automatically, we can understand that it just arranges the loans or providing guarantees in loans by various other channels so as to execute important projects. And fourthly, technical services. It also provides technical services for its member countries. The World Bank facilitates different kinds of technical services to the member countries through staff college and experts. So both technical services. And fifth, the, it provides technical services to its member countries and fifth formation of foreign private investment. So it is also just promotes the uh, foreign promote private investment. The promotion of private foreign investment by means of guarantees on loans and other investment made by private investors the bank supplements private investment by providing finance for that is uh, productive purposes out of its own resources from or from borrowed funds. Out of its own resources or from borrowed funds. It just promotes uh, foreign private investment among its member countries. The International Bank for Reconstruction and Development or the World Bank's achievements are great indeed. It is very successful in achieving its primary objective of reconstruction and development of war-affected countries. It helped greatly in the reconstruction of Europe after the Second World War. It has been providing the 
and developing nations the same treatment in the process of growth. So first successful, successful in achieving primary objective. And secondly, increased member countries. So the second point is increased member countries. Increased member countries. Initially, the World Bank had only 30 member countries and it increased from 30 to 68 in 1960. And gradually it increased to 151 member countries in 1988. And now it has 189 member countries. And the bank grants medium and long term loans payable over a period of 15 to 20 years for reconstruction and development purposes to the member countries. You know, the long term loans, granting of long-term loans, granting of long-term loans. And it grants medium and long-term loans payable over a period of 15 to 20 years for the reconstruction and development purposes to the member countries. The actual term of a loan depends upon the estimated useful life of the equipment or plant financed. Initially, the World Bank is just grants loans only mainly for the European countries and it was financing their programs of reconstruction and development only. Later, it changed its development loan strategy and lays more emphasis of financing schemes for the poor masses of the developing countries. So paying attention to developing countries. Paying attention to developing countries. Developing countries. So this is also another important achievement. And uh, you know, the World Bank grants loans only for productive purposes, especially that is for agriculture, irrigation and power and transport and so on. It strengthens the infrastructure needed for further development. It strengthens the infrastructure needed for the further development. So that is another important point that we have to remember. So it strengthens the infrastructure needed for the further development of its member countries. And fifthly, the International Development Association, that is IDA, the soft loan window of the bank, just provides loans to UDCs at very low rate of interest. So that's the other fourth, fifth point that you remember is productive purposes are just encouraged. And um, so the World Bank grants goes to productive purposes. So fifth productive purposes. And sixth importance to UDC, sir. Importance to UDC, sir. So underdeveloped countries are also given importance for its develop for their development. And of course, there are many African countries yet to improve their economic status. India has been closely associated with the World Bank. India has been closely associated with World Bank. India and the World Bank. You know the name International Bank for Reconstruction and Development was first suggested by India.
India to the drafting committee. The name International Bank for a Reconstruction and Development was first suggested by India to the drafting committee. The World Bank has given large financial assistance to India for economic development. It has assisted especially in the development of infrastructure such as electric power, transport, communication, irrigation projects and steel industries. A large part of in infrastructure has been developed only by the financial support of the World Bank in India. The World Bank has assisted a number of projects in India. The World Bank has assisted a number of projects in India. The IFC has identified five priority areas, namely one, capital market development, second, direct foreign investment. So first, capital market development. Capital market development. So capital market development. Secondly, that is direct foreign investment. Direct foreign investment. And thirdly, access to foreign markets, equity and investments to new and expanding companies and infrastructure. Access to foreign markets, equity investments in new and expanding companies and infrastructure. So all these five uh, priority ideas were identified by the IFC in India. And the World Bank has also assisted India in accelerating programs of poverty alleviation and economic development. And of course, until China, the entry of China in the World Bank, that is in 1980, up to 1980, India was the largest beneficiary of the World Bank assistance. India is a member of four of the five constituents of the World Bank group. There are five constituents of the World Bank group and India is a member of four of the five constituents of the World Bank group. Namely, in the, that is International Bank for Reconstruction and Development, International Development Association, International Finance Corporation and Multilateral Investment Guarantee Agency. So, the four important constituencies, India is a member of it. And another important one is, India has got an executive director, the board of directors of each these four constituents. India has got an executive director in the board of directors of each, that is, these four constituents. So, India also has got an important relationship with the World Bank. The World Bank's achievements are really great indeed. Let us learn and continue the lesson in the next class.